uh, it's Ismo here, uh, and let's learn some English. It's a great language. I've been trying to figure it out, and it's excellent. Let's start with the numbers. Numbers. There's so many numbers, and let's start with the first number, uh, which is, it's this one. Every language has a different word for this number. Like, for example, uh, um, Spanish, uno, uh, Swedish, et, uh, German, eins, and Finnish, uxi. So what, what is that in English? That's the question of the day. What is the first number in English? It's one. That's one. Uh, like, like it rhymes with words like, like, uh, like sun, fun, gun, and my favorite, uh, pun. Uh, so, of course, uh, one is written uh, like this. W and UN, like those guys there. So, uh, but it's not. Actually, one in English is written like this. Only? Where's the W? There's a W. It should have a W in it, but it doesn't have it. Why do we have Ws if we don't use them? It's crazy, but okay, let's accept that one is one like this. So I wonder if it's okay to use it in other words also. I think it sounds wonderful to use one like this, uh, like a magic wand. One. Why not? If it's okay with the numbers, why not everything else? Like, oh, here's a poster. Wanted. Somebody's wanted. Looks familiar. Actually, it's me, I think. Ah, a thousand bucks, that's a lot. Wanted? Mm, why not? So, very complicated, first number. But let's go to the second number. Hopefully, that's more easy. The second number. You all know this. Two. It's two. So that's easy. It's T and U. Two. Wait a minute. Two. Okay. T W O. Two. Mm -hmm. In the first number there is a W, but there is no W. But in this one there is no W, but there is a W. Like who who came up with this? It's crazy. So W's are destroying the numbers in English. That's the lesson of today. I think this is very complicated. Let's just. Use your fingers. One, two. That's that's more easy. I am Ismo, and remember that words matter. Uh -huh. They do. Well, it says here. See you later. Bye. <laughs>